Welcome to our half angle formulas part 2 video. Let's analyze our example. Use a half angle formula to evaluate the expression below, cosine of pi over 6. Looking at our different half angle formulas, we realize that the second one is the one that uses cosine. Now notice that the input is theta over 2 and here in our expression the input is pi over 6. So let's match them up. To do so we can do the following. We can say let theta over 2 be equal to pi over 6. However, notice that we're going to need the theta by itself. So let's go ahead and rewrite this equation and let's solve for theta. To solve for theta, let's go ahead and multiply by 2 on both sides of the equation. And we get that the 2's cancel over here, so theta becomes 2 times pi divided by 6. Now, dividing both numerator and denominator by 2, we get that this is simply pi over 3. So, theta is equal to pi over 3. Now, before moving on to evaluate uh, cosine of pi over 6, we need to ask ourselves a question. Is this going to be the positive or the negative square root? To figure that out, we ask ourselves the following. On which quadrant is the angle pi over 6? Now, by looking at the unit circle, we realize that pi over 6 is on quadrant 1. And since all the trigonometric functions are positive on quadrant 1, we are going to take the positive square root. So now that we have determined that, let's go ahead and evaluate cosine of pi over 6. So cosine of pi over 6 is equal to the positive square root of 1 plus cosine of theta over 2. So we write here 1 plus cosine of theta, which is pi over 3, divided by 2. And now we can rewrite this as follows. Square root of 1 plus cosine of pi over 3, but cosine of pi over 3, after we look at our unit circle, happens to be associated with your x-coordinate of 1 half. So we have 1 plus 1 half, all of it over 2 in here. Now 1 plus 1 half becomes 3 halves, so we have square root of 3 halves divided by 2. Focusing on what's inside the radical, okay, the radicand, we have 3 halves divided by 2. Now remember that this is equivalent to 3 halves times the reciprocal of 2, so that's times a half, and we get that this is simply 3 times 1, which is 3, and 2 times 2 is 4. So this square root is nothing else but simply the square root of 3 fourths. Now, using the properties of radicals, we can rewrite this as the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. And the square root of 3, it's an irrational number, so we'll leave it like that since it's in the numerator. And the square root of 4 is 2. So we can conclude, therefore, that cosine of pi over 6 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this video on half angle formulas part 2. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.